guys how you doing i'm back with another video today on healthy cooking and today we'll be cooking healthy beans in a burrito popularly known as beans and bread but we're going to be cooking it in a very healthy way so let's go to my left i have my ready cooked beans ready cooked brown beans from Nigeria, West Africa. These beans is already cooked just in water. Nothing else in it. Water. Okay? Now, beans takes a while to cook. You can use a pressure cooker if you have one. Make sure you follow the safety guidelines. Or you can use a normal pot. And also, I have my red kidney beans here. Ready cooked as well. I love red kidney beans and I like to combine two beans whenever I'm cooking beans and in this lovely bowls here I have all-purpose seasoning which is about um, one tablespoon and next to it I have ground nutmeg half teaspoon and of course my extra virgin olive oil okay in my skillet I have my ready cooked paprika sauce Paprika sauce is made, my paprika sauce is made up of this beautiful red bell pepper here to my right and a ball of onion and scotch bonnet. Now, I like to make my food a little bit spicy, not overly hot, a little bit. Bell pepper is very, very rich in antioxidants and vitamins. Research shows that a ball of red bell pepper has over 200% of vitamins in it. And also enjoy the flavor and taste the color it brings to my cooking okay let's go so that's my bell pepper paste popularly known as um, Tata Saint in some you know part of Nigeria West Africa okay so I'm going to be emptying into my skillet my cooked beans now guys one thing um, you must understand is that food has such a long list that cannot go um, you can't finish it so with, with beans and pulses for example there are a lot of variety of beans out there i'm not going to be using my all of my red kidney here because i don't want it to overpower the brown beans you can use any kind of beans to do this you can use black eye beans if you like it you can use pinto beans black beans carnelini beans broad beans all kind of beans out there some of them come dry some of them are pickled to make your cooking easy and some are also um in tins whatever your preference is just go for it okay so you gently mix your pepper sauce into the beans like i am doing using a wooden stick it's always advisable to use a wooden stick to do whatever kind of cooking you're doing. Right, so while that cooks together, um, I'm going to be showing you my vegetable corner here, which is the healthy, most important part of uh, my uh, cooking. So in this bowl here, I have my chopped peppers. I cut them into nice strips, and I have two colors of yellow and green. And also, I have... Um, spring onions in this bowl here also chopped ready and then i have my half part of run lettuce and spinach clean ready to use you can also use any kind of vegetables that you have preference for but don't use vegetables that are too heavy based on the finishing part of this dish okay back to the beans mix it up while it cooks just and if you want to mash it I, I, I already mashed my brown beans a little bit you just use the back of your wooden stick and press it down like that and if you don't like if you don't want to mash it just leave it the way it is and just you know gently put it together like that guys beans is a um, pulse that is high in protein and low in carbohydrates and fat now over the years I've heard my friends customers say that they just don't fancy beans 
and I, I can understand why with the reasons for one being that it takes long to cook and some of them just doesn't appeal but I'm gonna make your beans very appealing this afternoon okay all right so I'm going to be turning off my heat and I'll let my beans cool down a little bit ready for the next stage right I have this wrap here um, some people call it burrito but I'm just gonna go with the name burrito okay and or wrap whatever your preference is call it that way and I have my lettuce here which I'm going to layer out in each pieces I love this special because it's so easy to unravel just take it down like that you don't really need to use a knife right and I'm going to put one big flap here and another one to the end in this order and also my mixed peppers this pepper is just as fresh as it came from the fan okay try not to overcook your vegetables guys because when you overcook your vegetables you are losing out a great deal of the ingredients that should benefit your body the nutrients that should benefit your body and I'm going to be using my wooden stick and I'm going to be scooping the beans in this order on my wrap on my vegetables make sure that your beans sit right on the vegetable on the beans okay and then and I'm going to put another uh, sorry I'm going to be putting a bit of my spring onion over it like that a bit of spinach if you like if you don't like spinach choose something else or you can just do it the lettuce and also I'm gonna put another piece of lettuce on it like that because I want my burritos to be very healthy now this is a technical and easy kind of part of it say so, hold on to the end to my left I'm holding on to the end of my wrap to my left like that and onto my right like that so it's like you're trying to divide the whole wrap into three but the middle bit is should be bigger press it down like that and also hold on to the end towards you and fold it in into a wrap gently like that tuck it in from the end because the reason why you have to tuck it in from the end and do it like this is because when you're eating your wrap you don't want to have a messy wrap put a knife can you see that beautiful wrap there and put your clean knife right in the middle like that and cut through gently until it's equally divided into two equal parts and you'll be having this beautiful wrap beautiful beans wrap okay look at that beautiful and you put them down like that now I've decided today to use this beautiful, lovely presented small transparent bowl of lightly salted um, tortillas, corn tortillas, healthy. You can choose to use any kind of chips that you like. You can use plantain chips, any chips, just to give it a very, you know, crunchy taste. And that's all I'm going to be showing you with my wrap. Next thing I want to show you is another way you can present your beans dish. Right, guys? I've got this lovely wholemeal pita bread here. It usually comes like this. Um, and that has been divided into two equal parts. And I'm using my table knife to form a pocket where it's been cut like that that gives me a lovely envelope just imagine you putting a letter in an envelope for the post office and i'm going to cut a bit of my lettuce here tuck it in so i can have my vegetables also in it and another scoop of my beans can't wait to eat this lovely and just gently insert it in like that Try to avoid your beans messing up 
you know your beautiful envelope here made with pita bread because you don't want a, a messy um pita bread okay like that choose your colors you can choose to use one color you can use different colors and if you like any other vegetables just put it in and make it fun get your children involved when your friends is around you your friends are around you get them involved do it together beautiful and you'll be getting this do the same thing to the other half and you have a lovely well presented beans um wrap here or whatever you want to cut and that's it for today guys can't wait for you to try this at home encourage your family to eat beans because it is healthy for your body remember it is high in protein low in carb and low in fat guys do not forget to like my channel share and subscribe to this channel take care now and i'll see you soon again with another healthy video